Good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome to your early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum and I will share with you a card that hopefully will provoke some thoughts and some um, behavior change because we're all looking to up level ourselves at this point in time and this one is a really interesting way to meld the Earthwalk with the Divine. Good morning, Peggy. Glad you were here. You're the first one to pop on this morning. Welcome, welcome. So I don't know about you, but I am chilly this morning. have to adjust to this change in weather. Good morning, Beth. Glad you are here. Welcome. So we'll wait for everybody to roll in, our group of practical rebels. Good morning. Good morning. So let's just take a couple of nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good morning, good morning. Just settling into right here, right now, filling your lungs up. Perhaps the heat just kicked on, not surprising. Good morning, Ruth Ann, welcome. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, good morning. A couple of you may have popped past me real fast. Glad you're here. Good morning, Lucy. Everybody rolling in for Monday morning. Get us started on this week. So this card, I think, is going to be a beautiful start to this week, and I think it's going to give us all something to think about over the next however many days and resurrect periodically when we go, hey, I was doing really well with that, and now I want to bring that back to the fore. Maybe you want to make a card to remind you of it. Maybe you want to make part of the verbiage of the card a mantra for today. Whatever, whatever works for you. So what we have is... The Wild Harmonic Deck. I just love that picture. Everyone helping everyone else. It's by Gabriel J. Maryhugh. And uh, we'll see what you think of today's card. Good morning, Carolyn. Welcome, welcome. So let me find it for us here. Another nice deep breath in. And out. And just settling right into this moment. I think this is a cool card. Feet. <laughs> And the card is Earth of Dimensional, Creating Sacred. Creating Sacred. So that might be your mantra. I create sacred. We'll see what you think. So here's the card. Creating Sacred. As the Earth energies ascend to touch the dimensional expanse, they remind the expanse of possibilities to stay grounded in and choose the simplicity of the sacredness of existence. There will be another one. I choose the simplicity of the sacredness of existence. So we can look at this in a 3D way, the mundane aspects of life, or we can elevate it to the higher realm and look at this as a sacred walk. The meditation. Intentional resonance, cultivating that which is good, and learning to generate that which I seek. So again, we're co-creating with spirit. This card reminds me that not only can I find sacredness in people, places, and things, I can also learn to create it by both bringing it with me and choosing to see it where I am. I bring sacredness with me. I choose to see sacredness where I am. You can make tons of I statements out of here. Good morning, Gwen. Glad you're here. Welcome. We are doing Creating Sacred today. As I create anything, it is an expression of where I am coming from. How I see anything is an expression of where I am coming from. To create where I am coming from will change where I am at, where I am going, and what I create. So again, this is about living an intentional life. Choosing the life you live. Not by default. Not by default. And the inquiry, the question that we can ask ourselves... Maybe repeatedly, and I learned something else yesterday I'll share with you. What can I do to cultivate the sacred in my life? What can I do to cultivate the sacred in my life? And it also says, or other virtue. What can I do to cultivate the sacred or other virtue in my life? But I like just considering that sacred piece. What can I do to cultivate the sacred in my life? So one of the things that I learned yesterday, I'll dig it out here. There is... a uh, program that I'm working my way through online. Um, thank you, Cindy. I appreciate that. Um, um, 
Let me just think here. I'll come up with his name. Actually, I've got it written down. Look, Bunny. <laughs> right here. And usually I remember his name pretty well, but... Dean Graziosi. Dean Graziosi. Good morning, Bonnie. Glad you were here. And he said, he calls it the seven levels deep exercise. And um, basically he learned it from one of his mentors, Joe Stump, who um, uses this to dig deep, to help us figure out not just the superficial reasons why we're doing something, but the deep, deep reasons. How does this connect viscerally? Why are we doing this? So the one that he uses for an example is what is important to you about becoming successful? When you answer that question, why is it important for you to become successful? Why is it important for you? And you just keep drilling down specifically. Why is it important for you too? And then you reference your previous answer. So each answer takes you deeper. And he talks about there being seven levels. The, the exercise has seven levels. But oftentimes by the time you get to the fourth, or the, thank you, appreciate it, Cindy. She posted the Dean Graziosi link. Um, so you can use that to, for many reasons, to deepen your understanding of why you want to do what you want to do. If you're finding that what you want to do doesn't have enough oomph, um, so I'll just pick some. I want to find a new job. I want to leave this abusive marriage. I want to clean up my clutter. And by the way, I just got to tell you all, some of you already know this, but some of you may not. I have officially launched my clutter clearing course, audio course, um, Lightening Your Load. So if you're interested in reading about it or finding out about it and you're not on my mailing list, if you're not on my mailing list, you should be on my mailing list. <laughs> so to get on my mailing list, you could just send the words mailing list to Bonnie at empowerment and purpose, all little letters, all spelled out, dot com. And I'll get you on my mailing list. Um, and I've got a series of emails going out about the launch of this audio program, which I'm so excited about, because it really does what we're talking about today. We start out superficially, we're gonna clean out a drawer, and we end up cleaning out beliefs and old roles and stuck energy over the course of the 10 weeks. We clean out all kinds of stuff that holds us back, gets in our way, etc. So just wanna let you know I'm excited about that. Um, but going back to the Dean Graziosi thing, when we link up what it is we want to accomplish with why we want to accomplish it on a deep level, not just our superficial answer to that, but the deep, deep, deep answers to that. Good morning, Abigail. Um, we're far more likely to get it done. We're far more likely to get it done well. And we're far more likely to um, bring the best of ourselves to that effort to get it done. Kind of like in here where it says, let me go back here. I'm going to show you the picture again just because I think it's fun. Grounding, 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 right? Grounding in the sacred. And that those may seem like they're opposite things, but they're not. They can coexist. We're working on and. Remember, no more of that either or stuff. We're working on and. Okay? Let's see. This card reminds me that not only can I find sacredness in people, places, and things, I can also learn to create it, create sacredness, both by bringing it with me and choosing to see it where I am. So imagine if today you walk around and everything you look at, you ask yourself, where do I see the sacred in this? Where do I see the sacred in that? And for some things, it's easy. If you see a little bird, it's easy to see the sacredness. If you see a child, it's easy to see the sacredness. Sometimes we can move up a little bit and it's much harder. If there's someone we dislike and don't get along with, can you see the sacredness in that person? If there's someone maybe on the world stage who's behaving heinously, can you see the sacredness in that person? Can you see the sacredness in urban blight? Can you see the sacredness in someone experiencing homelessness? Can you see the sacredness literally in everything? It's a good exercise to practice. As I create anything, it is, ex it is an expression of where I am coming from. 
How I see anything is an expression of where I am coming from. To create where I'm coming from will change where I'm at, where I'm going, and what I create. That right there, I think, is one of the most powerful statements in this thing. Cindy, if you wouldn't mind writing that in there, I would love that. So I'll go very slowly. To create where I'm coming from, think about that. To create where I'm coming from will change where I'm at, where I'm going, and what I create. So if you, what you're creating right now in your world is not what you want to see, you have the power, the authority, the sovereignty to change it within and watch it change without. All right? To create where I'm coming from will change where I am at, where I am going, and what I create. We are powerful, sovereign beings. We're not, we're, that's one of the ones, I, I think I told you all this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love that. Thank you, Cindy. Gotcha, Carolyn. So, everybody, let's lift up Carolyn, who's just diagnosed with cancer. We hold you. We hold you, dear. Cancer can become merely a signal. It's something inside telling you something needs to change. Here's an opportunity. We're going to look at this as opportunity to change. Good morning, Jana. Glad you're here. Good morning, good morning. So think about that. Think about that. All of the difficult and painful things that happen to us, we can run through the process of what am I meant to learn from this? What gift is in this difficulty for me? It might be in that particular circumstance. I don't know, Carolyn, up to you, but it might be learning to ask for help. It might be learning to slow down. It might be practicing impeccable self-care. There's all manner of stuff that we are meant to learn from the difficulties that we have in life. And again, what about finding the sacredness in your cancer journey? What about finding the sacredness in that journey? We are absolutely holding space for you. Big space, dear. Big space. Breathe into it. Lean into it. Don't fight. I, know, I hate that we fight cancer. What we fight persists. We don't need to fight this thing. Yes, lifting her up in prayer. Absolutely. We need to meet it where it's at. Meet it where it's at. Face it. Look at it. Breathe into it. What do you want me to know? What do you want me to know? Oftentimes, I believe, people can believe differently, no worries. I believe that where in our bodies that cancer manifests gives us some good guidance about what we need to know. I'm just going to say a couple. When it's breast cancer, oftentimes it's about complications in our nurturing relationships. If it's um, bladder cancer, oftentimes we're pissed off about something. We can look deeper. Maybe you could do the seven level exercise with this. Um, so it, it could start. What is important for me to know, to learn from this cancer? Drop it a level, you give your answer. Let's, I'm just going to make something up here. Let's say you say to slow down. What's important for me about slowing down? You give your answer. Then what's important for me about that particular answer? Go deeper, go deeper, go deeper. Yes, I want to learn. Is uterine cancer? Gotcha. Okay, so sounds weird. Have a conversation with your uterus. Be loving to your uterus. What do you want me to know? What do you want to tell me? What have you been wanting me to hear? Just keep talking. Write it out. Um, there's different ways to do the writing. An arduous, laborious way is you write the questions you have with your dominant hand and you write the answers with your non-dominant hand. It is laborious. It is like when we learned to write in kindergarten and we're struggling to make the letters, but it taps different parts of our brain and it taps the little self and we can oftentimes get some very profound answers. Then you use those answers to work with what your doctors are telling you needs to be done. So it's not like you chuck Western medicine, but you augment it with all of this kind of stuff that um, helps the rest of your mind, body, spirit vehicle heal. You can do this. 
We will hold big space for you. Absolutely. Here's your opportunity. So I'm going to go back and read our card again for today because I just love this card. I just think it's so on spot on and timely. So here it is, creating sacred, creating sacred. So here we are. It's the Earth of Dimensional card, for those of you who have the deck. As the Earth energies ascend to touch the dimensional expanse, they remind the expanse of possibility to stay grounded in and choose the simplicity of the sacredness of existence. Love that. The simplicity of the sacredness of existence. Grounding ourselves in that. It might be walking barefoot on Mother Earth. It might be doing some forest bathing, going out and walking among the trees, whatever you need, okay? The meditation. Intentional resonance, cultivating that which is good. Learn to generate that which I seek. Again, co-creating with the divine. This card reminds me that not only can I find sacredness in people, places, and things, I can also learn to create it by both bringing it with me and choosing to see it where I am. As I create anything, it is an expression of where I'm coming from. How I see anything is an expression of where I am coming from. To create where I am coming from will change where I am at, where I am going, and what I create. The inquiry is, what can I do to cultivate the sacred or other virtue in my life? So, powerful stuff today. Powerful stuff today, yes. And all of that prayer, all of that healing energy amasses and comes straight to you. Have an awesome day, everybody. Happy Monday. We can all rise ourselves up here together, locking arms and walking together. Remember, we are capable of far more than we think we are. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.